Ladies and gentlemen, I guess you guys already knew me, right? If not, today is the chance to know me. My name is Anthony Huang, first year graduate student from UTK. Yes, that's me in the picture. I mean, the cute little boy, not the gorgeous lady. Hi, mom. My topic will be how I become an artist and what I'm doing now. So let's start. I was born in Taiwan, a tropical island. Since I came to America, whatever I mentioned that I'm from Taiwan, I find that some Americans think I'm from Thailand. Believe me or not, that's true. <laughs> I grew up in a really traditional Chinese family. I always been told to remember where I came from. I got my college degree in the journalism major in a political science and law school, but I don't like my department at that time, so I spent my entire college life dancing ballroom dance competitively for school, until I got an injury in my senior year that led me to have the willing to see the world, try different career, and explore who I am. A theater company was hiring assistant producers at that time, and my friend asked me to accompany her to the interview. Like in the movie, I got an offer, and she. <laughs> well, it's no longer in contact. But the work of the producer is different from what I imagined. There is no creative part. It is all about management. The producer job wasn't a good fit for me. I want to create. Until one day, my colleague Lena asked me, "Hey, Anthony, I know you doodle sometimes. Why don't you make a poster for me?" So I did. And while it may seem like a disaster now, it gave me so much fun at the time. And she suggested me to be an illustrator. Thinking about it now, Lena probably just wanted my job. Still, I applied to school and I got into the Savannah College of Art and Design as an MFA illustration student, where I was like a fish getting back into the water, and I finally could be creative. Although life was really happy, I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. I kept trying until I finally found a style that suited me. Most of my work are theatrical poster creations using traditional medium. The rich texture and the sun when you work on paper are pretty enjoyable. The variety and charm of traditional medium, just like me. I'm just kidding, but I always have some confusion about is this really what I want? Although I was really pleased to be an illustrator and had won many awards. I'm not trying to show off, okay? Is this really what I want? Only to be able to do things for clients. So again, I start to try different directions. I did some paintings, product design, and even jewelry design. Still, I didn't feel connected until I took a printmaking class. Taking a printmaking class was the best thing I have ever done in my life. My mentor Curtis Barton led me into the printmaking world. He does things very carefully and keep everything clean, which led me to the same habit. I learned a lot about printmaking that year, and just like most of us, I fell in love with printmaking. There are more Chinese elements in my works, and through making prints, I feel that I have returned to my favorite dance life. Carving is just like holding the hand of my dance partner, and every preparation step of Litho is just like preparation before going on stage. Wiping a plate is just like feeling the floor. To learn more about printmaking, I decide to apply for another degree. I graduated in 2021 with a GPA of 4.0. Yes, I'm that great. <laughs> Just kidding. I decided that I'm going to UTK for my second master. My friend and I drove all day to Knoxville and started to looking forward to life in the mountains. The photo on the right was taken during the orientation. To be honest, I had some hangover that day. After I lived in the mountains, I realized that everything was different from the coastal area. There is an extraordinary feeling living in the mountains. The mists. Clouds and the layers that I saw in Chinese paintings have become reasonable. These constantly stimulate my creation, and at the same time, I find that my work has also changed. My previous works were all about finding the beauty in nature that people no longer care about. But after living the mountains, the power of the nature made me want to convey more emotions in my works and want the audience to experience the same feelings. There has more layers and more floaty elements starting shows on my work. At the same time, I also began to try different creative methods from the past. First, I started to create giant monotypes. I found that a huge size can give the audience a more immersive experience. At the same time, after experiencing the mist in the mountains, I want to explore the relationship between different layers so that the audience can enter. So I started to explore making monotypes on fabric and trying to make an installation. I want to add more experience with the relationship between different layers. I hope the audience can experience a feeling of walking in the nature between passing the installation, so the audience will be able to have a more relaxed, zenish feeling. 
It is hard to do it alone in creating such a large scale work, so I found a helper, Gino Castellano. This master printer and I find a perfect way to quickly print 70 yards of fabric. We created a system, I didn't have to spend any money, and we increased our friendship to another level. Thank you, buddy. To give the audience a more fluid experience, I tried adding more projections between the fabrics using combinations of the videos and create some motion medias with birds flying, lights, and shadow. The combination of monotypes and the projections give the audience more experience. After adding the sound effect, it is enough to be really interesting. Nanshan was my show at Gallery 1010 on April 2022. Through installation and temp prints, I tried to let the audience experience a unique space, an experience that combines most of my life experience and the skills I learned. And it can also make the audience calm down, relax, and not thinking that much. It wasn't until after entering the actual gallery that I realized that the experience that the installation gave the audience relates to the gallery. Installation will be presented differently at each venue. I divided the whole installation into two parts, just like the theater's curtain. I expect the audience to enter my world naturally. Interestingly, the audience interacts with my work based on the props I provide. They will sit and communicate with each other in the gallery space. In an experience like this, the audience gets a break and has a whole new feeling, which is something we all need today to get refreshed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.